Hello and welcome to this video. For my recent videos I created units which resemble troops from movies or series. And in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own units. First of all, we obviously need access to the Benelope Beta, which can be obtained by sacrificing an unborn child to Tailwoods in hopes of getting a Beta key. Hell, even I haven't gotten one, if it wasn't for the contest I won at the R Mountain Blade subreddit. Secondly, we have to download the Advanced Custom Battle Test mod, made by a blog over at the Tailwoods forums. Links will be in the description below. Open the RAR archive that you just downloaded with any archive opening software. I use WinRAR for this. Extract the contents of the WinRAR archive into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Mountain Blade 2, Bandalot Beta. And that's how you install the mod. Now we get to the creation of your own units. For that we have to go to Bandalot Beta, Modules, Battle Test, Module Data. Open the MP characters .xml and all items .xml files with a writing program. I use Notepad++. In the MP characters XML file, you can see every unit with their skills and their equipment set for the mod. For example, we got Ulfric, which has these skills and these item sets. And in the all items XML file, we can see all the items we can give our units. Now, to see what equipment we want our character to wear, we have to head back to the Tailwords forum and into the Creative Unit Aesthetics archive thread. Link for that will be also in the description. Scroll down until you see these links. For the sake of the video we are going to make a custom Betania unit. So we click on the Betania Armor Gallery link and we will be brought to another download page where we download these Excel files and extract them somewhere safe. I made a folder on my desktop called Armor with all the Armor Excel files. Open these files with Microsoft Excel or some other program which can open Excel files. We want to open the Betania Body Armor's Excel file. And here we can see all the Betania Body Armor that exist in the game with their name and mesh ID. For the sake of the tutorial we're gonna pick the Leather Armor Kilt. Now, we have to go back to the all items.xml file we opened and look for the mesh ID of the armor we want. Which for the Leather Kilt is Leather Armor Kilt. And here we go, we found the mesh ID and now we can copy the item ID of the kilt, which is right here, where it says ID, and paste it to any unit you want. For the tutorial I just swapped the body armor for our boy Ulfric and voila. Now you have to do it for every piece of armor you want to have changed. For example, if you want the bracers to be changed, you have to go into the bracer excel file. Or if you want to have the shoulder changed, you have to go into the shoulder guard excel file, and so on. Additionally, you can change the name of your custom unit. For that I changed Ulfric's name into mine, and that is how he will be shown in the game afterwards. Now you gotta save and you're done. Let's see how he looks in game. And as you can see, the name got changed, and his body armor also. I removed his helmet intentionally because I am going to show you how to fix this disfigured Poor man. To make your figure look like your multiplayer character, you have to start the game through Steam. Once here, you have to go to Armory and press on any character or true uh, customized character. And it seems we found our lucky winner. So what we have to do now is press Ctrl C, go back to mpcharacters.xml and there you'll see Body Properties version 3 etc and body properties max. Now you just highlight all the body properties, not the max one, and press Ctrl V. Now also highlight the body properties max line and press Ctrl V. And write max after the second body properties. So it will look like this. So I guess it's time to look at how our boy looks like. And there we have it. A beautiful man in a beautiful armor. I hope this tutorial was helpful and informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching again and I see you in the next video, which will be most likely tomorrow. Bye.